Hey, 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 happy Wednesday. Today has been a very eventful day. Um, we had our final walkthrough. Of course, there's still things that had to be finished, hadn't been touched, so they're doing like a very thorough uh, checklist run through. Excuse my room, it's a hot mess, sorry. Um, very eventful day. So once that was done, went to go pick up Kirsten for school and um, there is an active shooter, or was, down in Midtown Atlanta, and we have family that work downtown, so they were in lockdown, and as soon as I picked Kirsten up from school, uh, she was the last student out before they shut the doors. So, that uh, was an experience, because I saw a bunch of cop cars just speeding past with sirens and all that good stuff, and then Kylie hadn't been picked up yet, so... That's the whole thing of her school being on lockdown and I'm just driving around just frantic calling Travis like, have you heard anything? Have you heard anything? Like, apparently the guy came from Midtown to our area and the schools had to be shut down. So, y'all look at this hair. I ain't even slicked this down this morning. I just woke up and, and went to the um, final walkthrough. But anyway, um, just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that you have to make sure you take pictures of everything. You have to make sure that you document everything in email of things that need to be done because that will be your proof that you express for those things to be done, especially from an inspection report. And that will be your proof of whether or not they've been done or not. When you see things on the wall that need to be done and then they're covered or they're painted over or they're fixed and you don't remember exactly where that spot is, you kind of don't know if that's the area that the issue was at. If there's a mark on a cabinet and you need it fixed, Take a picture of which cabinet that is that you mark so you remember okay it was this cabinet the mark was here they did fix it even after our home uh orientation where we blue saved everything i still saw things today that i didn't catch before and there are damages that were created with them fixing other stuff that were done during the past couple of weeks new damages that we had to blue tape again because they're new damages so Make sure you always have your blue tape on you. Don't ever let a builder bully you into saying, oh, we're not blue taping today. Yes, the hell we are. Because this damage wasn't here before or this damage was here before and y'all still didn't cure it. So, it's a lot of stuff that was only caught because I'm a realtor and those are things that I look for. But to the average person who's not detail-oriented and low-key OCD like me, they probably wouldn't have um, caught those errors to even address. So, just know that they got a very lengthy email today with everything that still needs to be done attached with pictures. They got photos from the inspection report of things that they did not cure from the inspection report. So, they'll be working overtime all through, all through the night tonight. Drywall team is coming back in the morning. We close tomorrow. So, it's a lot of stuff they had to fix. They had to add brick to the side of the garage because they took the brick off in places they shouldn't have little stuff like that have to paint a couple of places in the exterior where the ladder scratched the paint while they were putting um the gables up on the house um other than that it's little just small touches little small touches they have to repaint all around the windows trim where the metal is showing through the paint um i did find out today that they don't do primer which is why there are a lot of touch-ups that need to be done because if you did primer you can't see words seeping and bleeding through the white paint. I mean words like on the drywall, words on the 2 by 4s You can't see none of that because you use primer. But since they don't use primer, they literally have to do more coats of paint to cover some of those areas. When they could just use one coat of primer and use two coats of paint and not have to worry about those extra issues. But that's neither here nor there. It's their process. They want to waste some money to keep repainting and repainting until it's to our satisfaction going right ahead i will probably do a video going over what you should look for doing your home inspection what you should look for doing your homeowner's orientation the uh tools you should bring with you to test everything out i'll do a video like that post closing um in the home today has just been a day i wanted to do it today but my heart is still racing i'm still frantic the shooter is still on the loose they have his name but um 
that was very scary. Um, that was my first um, active shooter lockdown school situation for my kids ever. So this was like a first for me. I was, I called, I blew Travis phone up and he was on a call at work. So I just had to text him and say, call me now. Like, call me now. I don't know what to do. I got Kirsten, but Kylie's stuck in school. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I just need to hover around the school and just wait to hear from her. Luckily, she always has her phone. She's not always on it during class, but I make sure she knows to always have it on her so that when I text and it's an emergency, she can text me back. So we were texting literally like every 30 seconds. I didn't tell her what was going on during the event I just said um hey you okay she said yeah we're on yellow lockdown so that was her way of telling me versus me telling her what the situation was so I kind of knew what she knew um and I said um I don't know what's going on but just stay alert and no playing around this is not the time to play and that's all I told her so she said yes ma'am so I checked on her every um Y'all, I'm stressed. I checked on her like every 30 seconds, literally. You good? You good? What are they saying now? What are they saying now? Um, and eventually, I was able to pick her up. But again, the shooter is still on the loose. We are back in the apartment safe. My apartment is a mess. Um, closing's tomorrow. And I am on 10 with my anxiety. So, send prayers. I will probably announce the giveaway winner later on in this video or near the end of this video. It's just right now, I'm spent. So, for those of you who are new here, sorry you had to see me cry. I think that's my first time crying on a vlog. But it's been a very emotional day between the final walkthrough, knowing the closings tomorrow, and then this happening. And this helicopter swarming all over the place. Looking for this guy. I'm very, I'm a wreck today. Hopefully I can mentally prepare for tomorrow. But... Uh, we'll do footage of the clothing and then next will be the empty house tour. So, send prayers. Um, thank you to all my subbies. I love you all. Thank you for watching and always returning and always commenting and just loving on me. I, I need it. So, y'all have a good one. Talk to you soon. Peace. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all, hey! It's an exciting day. It is May the 4th fourth be with you it's may the fourth y'all um nails not done got the stubs because guess what today is it's closing day it's closing day <laughs> as you can see we have man in the back he's riding along with us i am a stay-at-home mom slash entrepreneur so I don't grow. and that's a group so group slash sonic so he goes everywhere I go at this point in time until he starts school in August. So he's gonna be riding along with us. Everybody's all dressed up and ready to go. And we are headed to the closing attorney's office right now. If you saw on my previous video, we had our homeowner's orientation. I probably went over some things that you need to know going into your homeowner's orientation. And also just a slight scare that we had in the city of Atlanta and the city of Smyrna. Um, it's been a very uh, eventful week and we're just ready to get this closing over. Um, our lenders and our attorneys have been great. Um, <laughs> our builder's been kind of great. <laughs> it's just it's too much stuff that hasn't been rectified and done uh, even up until today but you know what new build construction you can just move forward with the closing and they'll fix whatever afterwards it's very minor stuff i'll say that it's very minor stuff um some would say i'm being nitpicky but when you're paying so much for a house stuff just honestly needs to be done correct and it needs to be done correctly the first time that is done um it shouldn't take me as a realtor to find stuff and ask for stuff to be addressed the builders should honestly have that quality control in place and not just one several quality controls checks to make sure things are done in decency and in order 
So, um, with that being said, it's very minor stuff like paint, a couple of patches that need to be re-sanded on the drywall. Um, most of the major items that we have in our inspection report got fixed. Um, a couple of things were overlooked, so that's being done as of this morning and as of last night. Um, but the house is ready to move in. As of this morning, the house is moving ready. Um, I was promised a bucket of paint, so <laughs> if I see any other imperfections that we didn't see during our homeowner's orientation and our final walk for yesterday, I will be going through uh, with a paintbrush to just go over those imperfections because I am very, I, usually I say I'm low-key OCD, but I'm high-key OCD, okay? The littlest scratch, and I know after closing we're gonna have fingerprints on the wall, smudges, pants rubbing on his wall, I understand that. So I'm gonna have my paint ready. I'm getting those little pins from Amazon to put the paint in, and anytime I see something, I can just automatically grab the pen and mark over the smudge or whatever with some paint. We have white paint all over the house. Uh, we wanted to start off with a blank canvas, and then if we add accent walls later, we'll do that. But it was free, it was included in the cost, so we just opted for white paint. So we're primarily gonna be cleaning this weekend, just getting the house sanitized, getting it freshened up because they do clean, but there were some jobs that needed to be done after they did the final cleaning, if you wanna call it a cleaning. Um, so we gotta get all the supplies that we need to the house. Things like cleaning the bathtubs out, sanitizing the bathtubs, the showers, cleaning the floors, wiping down the uh, faucets, wiping down the handles, anything anyone has touched, the windowsill latches, all of that good stuff. We gotta wipe that down, sweep out the garage, sweep out the basement, go ahead and do those little things so that once we start moving stuff in, the house will be clean to our satisfaction. So that's the plan over the next week. And after that, we'll be slowly but surely moving stuff in. We did not meet our 60 day vacant notice for our apartment um, because it took so long for us to get our closing date. So we actually vacate our apartment early June. That's kind of a good thing because we have a month to do all of this stuff, to prep the house, sanitize the house, clean the house before we start bringing in the major stuff into the house so we don't have to clean and do all that while we have items in the house. We just start off again with a blank canvas and go from there. So we'll be moving stuff here and there um, throughout the next couple of weeks. And at the end of the month, that's when we'll move all of the heavy stuff. From there on, June on up, we'll be just ordering things that we need for the house slowly but surely. Um, bed frames, mattresses, all that good stuff. It's gonna be a very slow private process so I will have plenty to film I will have plenty to share um, this is a, a slow and steady race not fast and sprinty race <laughs> so we're not millionaires so we gotta Travis knows this I have to understand that we have to pace ourselves I get it I get it I get it I see now so many other people's vlogs how they express their frustration over all the stuff that they have to buy for their new house and they are learning also that they have to pace themselves. So I have to learn that as well. You just want it done so that you can relax and move in. But it's going to be a lot of pieces that are going to be ordered over time. Um, and we'll slowly be making our house a home. So we are excited. We're on the interstate now headed towards the closing office. We're so excited. And as a realtor, I'm even more excited because I was able to get not only my client down from 5% to 3% interest rate, but we're also getting money back for him. So, pat on the back, pat on the back. You always gotta review your documents. Review your documents, make sure there are no errors, make sure you negotiate, make sure that you ask, ask, ask. Close mouths don't get fed. So if you have a realtor that doesn't advocate for you, you might wanna make that switch real quick. So, my contact information is always below. For anybody that's local to the Atlanta area, um, Georgia license and as well as my South Carolina license so in any state if you are looking for a new home if you're looking to sell your home my contact information is below reach out to me um, I advocate on behalf of my clients I don't just sign you and walk away I am with you all the way from you hiring me as a realtor 
all the way to the closing table and even beyond. Um, after you close, that's not the end of our relationship in my eyes. I'm still gonna check on you, make sure you're enjoying your home, make sure that everything that you are looking for in your home is up to par, and just making sure that you're just reveling in the investment that you made because home purchasing is a huge investment. Home selling is a huge investment. You have to put in some coins to sell your house. So I'm with you every step of the way. So I'm just happy that I was able to be um, a party in this transaction for uh, right now forever home. It really is a financial blessing to be able to be on both ends of the customer and the realtor side. You get to see both ends and you get to advocate for your client and for yourself if you are buying or purchasing your own home. So with that being said, we're going to head on out. And I may have a few clips of footage while at the closing table, but uh, I will see you all in a bit. Bye. You excited? Very much so. It's a long time coming from July. Yeah, it's, now. it's pretty much 11 months or so, give or take. Mm, 10, and, 10 and some change. 10 and some change months. So, it's been a long process. Travis is very nonchalant. <laughs> so, he is excited. It's just hard to tell. He's very laid back. He reminds me so much of my dad. He's very cool, calm, and collect. But we are excited. The girls are excited. They wanted to come today, but they have school. Despite what happened yesterday in Midtown with the um, active, I don't even know if I can say it on YouTube, the suspect. Um, he was caught last night, so they resumed school today. And Kylie, in fact, had an AP exam today, so I'm glad they resumed it because she had to take that test. We paid for that test. So hopefully she does well. Send positive vibes in the comments below. So I will see y'all in a bit. Peace. My, my Stevie. <laughs> Stevie J. Just a few moments away. Yeah. I don't have a working watch. This is my Michael Kors. I need to get a new um, a watch battery. There's your flowers. <laughs> Those are beautiful. First. What? What? As long as you be quiet, you can get as much chocolate as you want. Here's one of my cards for you. Mama, I bet the chocolate. Uh huh. And here's a couple for you too. Yes, please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So y'all are gonna. Uh, transition over to the new house gradually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. That Our lease is easier. Lease is at what? June, June the fourth. Yeah. Because you have to give a sixty-day notice. So since we didn't have a closing date yet, 
we was like, we don't want to yeah. give a notice and then right. <laughs> it gets pushed out and we're homeless. <laughs> so yeah. Such a gentleman. We got a new house, y'all. New house. Guess what? Guess where we about to go? Our house. Our house. <laughs> are we going to the lot? Or are we going to our house? Our house. We're going to our house and then to the red house. To the red house. <laughs> Y'all, look at this boy. We just need to get him a pair of cheap Walmart shoes so he can run around in the backyard. Y'all, my feet. Ooh, child, my shoes are squeaking. Time to get out of these, out of these shoes. Got our little Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi. How long was this for, Ma? Free Wi-Fi for a certain amount of time. Yes, y'all, we got our house, oh my God. Y'all, <laughs> it's done! <laughs> we are close, how you feel? Ready to move stuff now, get out of the apartment. He ready to move stuff now, but I'm gonna be the one moving the stuff because he gonna be at work. I'm gonna be having back sprains and stuff, trying to move that stuff by myself. You know, y'all know I can't wait on nobody to do nothing. I can't wait on nobody. So, where we going? We gotta go to the store. We gotta go get some cleaning products. Even though I already have some at the house, we gotta get like some more Swiffer sweeper cloths. Cause apparently we can't use like anything wet on our floors. We can just dust them, spot clean, whatever. So, we're about to head to the house, our house. <laughs> Y'all don't know how to act. This is such a long time coming. Like, I didn't think it would take this long to build this house. Like, you would have thought they was building us a 6,000 foot house. Well, kind of. Well, no. Anyway. Ciao. Over 10 months. Like, what's going on? Y'all remember when houses used to take like three and five, three and five months to get built? Yeah, we, we, we ain't in those days no more. Take a little bit longer. Help is hard to find, okay? I think that's the problem. Help is hard to find. Reliable help. So yeah, we're headed to the house. Now I can't say the house anymore. Uh, we're headed to our house. Welcome to my house. And as soon as you are in a little now, we about to go out. Welcome to our house. <laughs> Can't put the real song on there because of copyright. So, y'all just gotta take what I give y'all. Anyway, oh my god. Alright, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm, I can't stop cheesing. Bye.
if you saw on my previous video. Slight left onto the I-75 North Ramp. 